Well, good Friday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, so we have our Dallas Cowboys are working out rookies on the field today. And Stephen Jones, little old Stephen Jones, cap boy, has dropped down the edict, the edict. We got to take the next step, and I think everybody feels it, is we got to be successful in the playoffs. Our fans deserve that. Certainly, we're not going to be at peace until we get over that hump. You know, to get over that hump, it's an everybody hump that we have to get over. That means everybody, from the kicker to the quarterback to the running back to the offensive line, the defensive line, the secondary, the special teams, the coaches, and you, Catboy. What would it be like if you went to war? And you didn't have any bullets for the guns. Are you going to win the battle? I, it doesn't matter what battle cry you give the guys. In a modern war, of course. Okay, Now, back in the old days when they just used, uh, used uh, you know, swords and stuff, then that would be different. But in modern warfare, if you don't have guns, uh, bullets for the rifles, chances are you're not going to win. Just not going to win. And this is where Stephen Jones has to understand he's got to give the Cowboys the ammunition to get over the hump. And that means maybe some free agents. Now, here's the thing. In a little over two weeks, we get an extra $10 million. We have six of the nine rookies signed. There's only three more left, only three left. And the big numbers are already out the way. So it's time to use a little of that cheddar. That that cheddar. Let, let me look real quick and see if they've updated over the cap to see exactly where we are. So I, you know, don't know if this is real time. No, they haven't updated with the rookie salaries yet. Yeah, they're not. They still have us at fifteen million. But see, when when you sign a guy for thirteen million for four years, and the way it's prorated and stuff like that. It's not taking much of the money. We probably will still have about, say, $8 million left over from here, plus then the other $10 million. And if they happen to go ahead and get Dalton Schultz's deal done, they could be over $20 million of cap room still in the offseason where there are going to be other players out there. Uh, Jarvis Landry, for example, just signed with New Orleans. Breaking news. Da-da-da, da da Damn, Gina. Jarvis Landry is now with the... New Orleans Saints, which they have some hellacious wide receivers there. Yeah, mm -hmm. with Enclave and uh, Michael Thomas, Jameis Winston got no excuses whatsoever, none. He, he He's going to have to show up and show off. That's actually a scary wide receiver core. But this is where Stephen Jones needs to understand he has a part in us getting over the hump. He really does. That means you may really need to go out and get yourself a good backup, a really good backup offensive tackle, just in case with Tyron Smith. Now, the rookies have been out on the field. Um, Mike McCarthy has said that, you know, with Tyler Smith, you know, don't read in too much of, of what Tyler's doing at left guard because he's going to be also working out at uh, left tackle as well. So, you know, there's that. So, you know, he's working out both spots. Interesting thing that I, I love. There's a couple of things that are here. Um, Mike McCarthy talking about Sam Williams. Actually, D. Williams. Don't forget, he's like Billy D. And Colt 45. Williams, this is what Mike McCarthy said. Williams looks like a guy who was born to play professional football. He has the gifts. He has two... He had two pass rushes today, and I know just in helmets, but he was clean in the backfield. 
I think he'll do extremely well for us. And of course, there is Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn. Love it. Leaving the field that day, I remember telling Mike McCarthy, I really like to coach this guy. Most of the time when you have a feeling like that, that's usually good. So these guys, there was no ifs, ands, or buts about this because D. Williams was like, I don't want to leave Dallas. He was like, seriously, I'm going to miss the flight. I don't want to leave here. So maybe this is a match made in heaven that, you know, a guy who is built to be, built to be a professional football player um, with coaches that want to coach him, that really have a need for him since Randy Gregory is gone. This is great news. And for him, again, we, we have to be careful here. Last year, we got two physical in OTAs because the Cowboys were actually doing a little bit too much contact. They actually are missing out on one OTA practice this year because they said, you know, they were doing, you know, let's get physical, physical. I want to get fit. Yeah, and the NFL said, no, no getting physical just yet. So they lost one of the OTA practices. So they have to be careful. But for him already to get two clean shots in the backfield, he faked somebody after jockstrap. Um, also, here's where it's kind of good. This may be a great sign for us. Because Damon Clark, who um, has the fused vertebrae, you know, I did a video about exactly what that is. Basically, they take a piece of bone from your hip. And when you have a disc that slipped or ruptured and all that, basically they take, take that out. And to keep it stable and stop having the need for the, ver for the uh, disc, they end up drilling a hole in there and basically taking that piece of bone and putting it in there and it will grow together and seal up. They'll put a little plate on there to lock it in place. But that piece of bone will now make those two like one vertebrae so they won't move anymore. You don't have the pinching of the nerve and stuff. So that's going on. But the thing is, Clark was out on the field, not running and hitting. Okay, they're not hitting. They're not hitting. But he's out there um, moving around and mirroring the drills. He's starting the muscle memory process of actually, you know, learning the steps, learning the moves, learning positioning. He's getting the brain work in the footsteps there while the body heals. Now, it's going to be several months before he's going to be cleared to actually practice and to be hitting. But he's already starting the process of getting stronger, rehabbing, and learning the technique. So this is great that he's mirroring the footwork and the tans technique and everything else. So he's getting those mental reps there, guys. Mental reps. So the Cowboys, so far, pretty good news coming out of Dallas for the first day of rookie OTAs. And we'll have a lot more on this later on tonight. Join us for our live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern. And uh, we may be doing a, a pre-one with my man, nothing but the best, Law Nation. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.